All right, so I think this uh, week's wet topic is gonna be welding symbols and really what I'm gonna go along with on this is that I'm not really aiming this at any crowd in general as most of mine aren't really aimed at any crowd in general, but the lately, I've had some instances even with the engineers that I work with, the, the designers and stuff and when they make their their drawings and their prints they put these weld symbols on there and I mean without having formal education on it very easy to make this mistake so I figured I'm not going to go into a whole lot of depth on this but I will try and go over just a few parts I mean let's just say for instance you've got your weld just down here so this is your lead line and then you've got a reference line and with your reference line, what's really important, you're going to have a weld symbol. So the entire thing is your welding symbol, but you're also going to have what is just the weld symbol. And the weld symbol can be anything from, I mean, every your type of joints, your your fillet weld, your groove weld, V groove, single groove, single bevel groove, double V groove. And it, there's just lots of them out there. But what I really want to get at here is that lots of times something that I'll see is that since say if this is your fillet a lot of times they'll say oh this is the vertical leg so I've got to make my fillet like that and this is this fillet would be your weld symbol and really what I want to say here is that this is the wrong way to do it. So regardless of which side your arrow, your leader line comes in, I mean if your leader's this way or if it's up this way, your weld symbol, if it's got a vertical leg in it, it is always to the left side. And uh, other instances and where you might come into some confusion is that you've got uh, on your left side you're going to have your weld leg size and I mean you know depending on let's just say a you know, quarter inch and what you can have over here on the right side of your symbol is you can have if it's just say one number that's the length of the weld if it's two numbers that's the length of the weld and then the pitch so say your uh, oh let's just say a two dash four and what you're going to end up with here is a weld that looks like um, forgive this horrible drawing here, is your, your weld's going to be like two inches and then between center of each weld this will be your four inches and that's your pitch. So two inches long and four inches on center compared to each other. So that's just something like you'll see fill welds, my main point here again is just your vertical member of your weld symbol is always to the left and so then what I want to also stress then is that your weld size, your length, your pitch, all of these are always in the same location regardless of where the welding symbol is in orientation to what it's calling out on your drawing. So clear as mud I'm sure. Uh, I just want to keep it short. I may prepare a little bit more and uh, look at next week doing another one, something similar to this. It's a good topic, not a lot. I mean, I know when I was first getting into welding, I got disqualified from a welding competition simply because I didn't know how to read the weld symbol. And the funny thing was that our school actually brought somebody from the industry in to help us out with this. and. They apparently didn't know how to read it because we welded it and it was wrong and so on and so forth. But uh, I think it's a good topic. 
that I can expand a lot more on and help people out with is welding symbols and then the weld symbols. So uh, if you think that's also something you'd be more interested in, give me a thumbs up or a like and a comment saying yay or nay and uh, I guess we'll just go from there. So hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.